Hello, my name is Kai. I'm from Chicago. Um, I'm calling the X. Is the story of Yakub true? Yes, it is. But the, that same story, like a lot of other stories, have been mixed up, um, remixed, and misinterpreted. And again, you can get all the information regarding that story in um, a scroll by Dr. Malachi Z. You'll call Shambara and Agatha, um, the cities within. And that story was about, because in the caverns you had different extraterrestrial beings that have come, have been in this, on this planet and were living there. Um, one of them was known as the Donakil and the other one was known as the Teros, all right? Now, because of the fact that they have different chromosomes, when they produce offspring, they created this being um, called Yaqub because he, he suffered from um, hydrocyph... There's a, there's a word for it when you have two brains. I can't remember the term. And he had a big head because he had two brains. And he was ridiculed and teased by the two sides because he looked different. And so he vouched that he was going to get them back. And he said that he was going to create um, a weak and wicked being to show them that he was God. And so he went about creating the, the first variation of um, what you would call the Adamites, but they were known as the Flugerods, right? And... Um, that story, when other people tried to explain it, like, you know, the nation um, of Islam, when they explained it, they explained it as well. But there were remixes and they were saying it in a way that, you know, that the uncle found a magnet and rubbed it together. And it, but it was the same story and the same. And it's the same story that ended up in the Bible with the Jacob and Esau story. But it's just a, a remix of the same story. But it, it was a true story based on this um this entity and he went around um he went around the coast of africa because he was doing this on his journey so he took the black jeans and then it, like the, the story goes that to end up with um this being that's considered to be weak and wicked he had to extract you know the brown from the from the black to get to the to the to the to the yellow to the red and then to the colorless man um, but that was before the adamite story you see but then eventually some of the fulgurod mixed with the the canaanites or the canaanites who they came by way of the curse of leprosy you see and that ties in with this story of the pleiadians um, and you know them asking the draconians to stop eating them so that they can create a source um, of food for them known today as the Adamites. That's what that's where you get the red ruddy red being that in the Bible they're picking up as Adam because the word Adam comes from the Hebrew word Adama which means of the ground and ruddy red and you know it explains there are different Adams in the in the so-called Bible but um, yeah so that story is true. Again I've just given you you know, a short, the short version.